During the lockdowns of last year, like everyone else, I was struggling with my mental health. I was trying to find my place in this new world, I was dealing with anxiety, and within the confinement of my apartment, I surprisingly found a new hobby. I'm a huge sports geek, and I follow everything, from curling to darts, from snooker to football, the real football. But there was one outlier I never really got into, and I always found hard to understand. As a European, it might be obvious that this sport is baseball. I finally decided to give it a shot and try to get into it, pay attention and understand the game. Well, I fell in love with baseball. And I also realized that it's the perfect sport for a futurist. I'm Dr. Bartola Meshko, and you're watching a future bit from the Medical Futurist. So, I became a baseball mega fan. I watch baseball every day. I read the baseball news, all of them on the MLB app, and the statistics. And it's safe to assume that I'm the biggest Hungarian Angels and Shohei Otani fan. The game, as I learned to understand, is 80% completely meditative and slow. But when there is action, boy, it's like a huge dose of adrenaline flush packed with incredible athletic performances. It's unlike any other sports out there. The players have to be ready to give peak performance the whole time, and they have to have a mindset of a baby Yoda crossed with a marathon runner and a chess master. I'm totally amazed by the endurance of the players, who have to stay focused for hours, knowing that you might only be needed for a minute, but that minute will mean life and death. But what does it have to do with futurism? Following baseball is a straight-up futurist exercise. It is forecasting at its purest form. Here is how that came to be. Traditionally, as with all other sports, baseball scouts were traveling around, looking at players, determining who are gems and who are busts. But their method was flawed in a very human way. Scouts often privileged recent performances over long-term trends and relied too much on feelings and intuition over analytics. That all changed with, you might have guessed, Moneyball. For the full story, I highly recommend the movie, but basically is the tale of the Oakland Athletics, which at the time was long past its glory days and had only a fraction of the big club's budget. Yet, they reinvented the way we look at baseball. They quantified it. The A's couldn't sign or even keep their big star players, so they started to weaponize the numbers. The great thing about baseball and the American obsession with quantifying every aspect of sports is that it was easy to turn performance into sheer numbers. And at the A's, they had the vision to read those numbers in an entirely new way with computers. Instead of looking at throwing, fielding, hitting and running, they started to pay attention to on-base percentage, something the rest of the league didn't pay much attention to. They bought players who seemed to be a bust to the eye, but gems according to the numbers. And that small, out of money and out of luck club started winning and changed the way we look at sports in general. It's extraordinary how they transformed something totally unpredictable, like how promising a player looks when hitting or pitching, into something entirely data-based. Nowadays, what we focus on is which players have a high average or and on-base plus slugging, and this way we can use data points to exercise forecasting. That's why I'm saying that baseball is the dream sport for any futurist. But it also teaches an important lesson. Numbers will only get you half the way. There is no analytics that could predict every outcome in a foolproof way. Like the way I was almost certain that we would see the White Sox in the finals this year. We still need, and we will always need, the old-school scout mentality as well, where we just listen to our guts. That's the secret to forecasting. And that's true for healthcare too. We have studies to analyze and numbers to crunch, but we also need our intuition in every area to make accurate predictions. If you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe below. Also, please don't forget to tap the notification bell so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you so much in the name of the whole The Medical Futurist team.